This is your host Sreem bin Muhammad Rafi and here is my YouTube channel Zameer Universal. Today my subject is eliminating Islam and how a secret intelligence source Russian intelligence revealed where the Mossad which is the intelligence agency notorious of Jewish state of Israel. They had penetrated and the Israeli plan was which is considered a large and dangerous plan with American and British intelligence together. All these triangle, these three intelligence agencies targeting Arabs and Muslims and aimed to eliminate Islam and obliterate the Arab identity. It is currently being implemented in all Arab countries with the assistance of the rulers of the Arab countries. The secret report stated the following and I think this will be an eye-opener for you and for the rest of the Muslim world that what the enemy has in the plate waiting for you. This is how those three agencies trio together say we are currently working to help Arab rulers fight fundamentalist Islam and replace it with sacred Islam by imposing the Abrahamic religion and calling for the unity of religions and peaceful coexistence between nations. Now under the mask of this what they intend to do is that this is what they say that we will burn all books of the Islamic heritage, adopt new books. In other words, the glorious Quran they want now to be Allah and God burn them in the deepest pits of hell that this is what their intention is. We will reinterpret Islamic texts in a way that is consistent with the secularism and the Abrahamic religion and train secular preachers and as you can see is happening in both UAE as a leader and Arab, this young prince, a devil following that and following in the footsteps of the UAE. For this mission, there is a big project that will appear soon. Now, it is it's not which amazes me at least because knowing that how the Jews have been conspiring and been thrown out of 79 countries times and times again in the world. They are capable of doing this thing. What surprises me is the two Christian countries joining them, which is the Britain and the United States of America. That's what the trio says that we will cancel all Islamic subjects, prevent the teaching of the Quran and the Arabic language in government schools and universities, close all Islamic institutes and universities, prevent the call to prayer through loudspeakers, work to reduce mosques by demolishing and closing and prevent the holding of circles, lessons and lectures in them. You can see Narendra Modi and RSS doing this and working on this agenda with a close ally of Mossad and raw. They are already demolishing mosques in India. They are already doing that in China and in the you know, Kashgar area. And you will see very soon they will be doing that in the United States of America. They have done, I think, you can see for hundreds of mosques in Palestine, both in West Bank and especially Gaza. Now, the work on that is already in progress. And in close cooperation, this trio has invited the people who think alike them and they're working on this agenda. Now the trio says that we will impose secular preachers on all of them and prepare for them the sermons we want as we will impose adopting Hebrew and English as the only two languages of science today as we did in the 
مغرب اور دا ویسٹ اور سو دے کال دی ویسٹرن سولائزیشن ہاؤ سولائز دے آر بائی کیلنگ چلڈرن اینڈ ویمین اینڈ دیئر بائی لنچنگ پیپل آن دا ڈیڈ باڈیز ڈانسنگ اوور دیم ان انڈیا اینڈ یو کین سی دا گن شارٹس ایٹ اسکولس ان یونائٹیڈ اسٹیٹس آف امیرکا اینڈ انگلینڈ از ناٹ فار بیہائنڈ دیٹ دا ٹری آف سیز دا وی ول ہنٹ ڈاؤن آل اسلامک شیخس اینڈ پریچرس ان آل پارٹس آف دا ورلڈ اسیسینیٹ دیم لیکویڈیٹ دیم امپریزن دیم اریسٹ دیم پلیس دیم انڈر ہاؤس اریسٹ پریونٹ دیم فرام اسپیکنگ اینڈ اسپیکنگ اینڈ فورس دیم ٹو سپورٹ دی پالیسیز آف دا رولرس ہو ایور اپوزز دس ول بی پرسوڈ اینڈ پرسیکیوٹیڈ ان دی نیم آف فائٹنگ ٹیررزم وائلنس اینڈ ایکسٹریمزم دیٹ وٹ دے آلریڈی ڈن بائی کریٹنگ آئی ایس ایس بائی کریٹنگ ویریس ادر ٹیررسٹ آرگنائزیشنس وچ امیرکا اینڈ اسرائیل فنڈیڈ اینڈ سپورٹیڈ وی ول آلسو ابالش آل اسلامک مینیفیسٹیشنس ان دی عرب ورلڈ انکلوڈنگ دی کیلنڈر ہالیڈیز ویکیشنس اینڈ افیشیل ہالیڈیز ابلیٹریٹ دی عرب اسلامک آئیڈینٹی امپوز سیکولر لاز اینڈ وی ول پریونٹ از اے لانگ ایجنڈا ویری امبیشیس ایجنڈا ویری ہائیلی ڈینجرس ایجنڈا ہجاب یو وانٹ to get rid of hijab as well, spread pornography and atheism, support homosexuals and dismantle Arab societies, families and tribes until the percentage of corruption and atheism among them reaches 90%. Many Arab countries you will see on the name of advancement and getting into an included in the developed world are already i think halfway through in this the agenda of this trio we will demolish tens of thousands of mosques in the arab world under the pretext of modernization development fighting randomness and building advanced residential cities as we have done in many arab and islamic countries and we will build 100,000 churches and temples in the Arab and Islamic countries, starting with the airports, companies, universities, and public places. You will see the, at the forefront UAE with all the prostitution, with all the gambling, with all, I think, the deep bosom friendship with the Zionist killing Palestinian children, starving them, killing them, but making sure they provide fresh food to their bosom Palestinian friends with which they now say at this stage of the war when the whole world is now condemning them that they would not break their diplomatic relations with that Zionist state who is responsible for destroying the whole world peace, the whole world trade. in the Red Sea, now in the Arabian Sea, and soon it will be all over in the rest of the world. The trio goes on to say that we are currently cooperating with Arab rulers to displace Muslims from their lands and establish 20 free residential cities in all Arab countries. We will build thousands of temples, churches, bars, disco dance, nightclubs, and nudist beaches. They will be inhabited by more than 100 million of different nationalities and religions. We have actually succeeded in all of this in Dubai, Sinai, and Neom, the dream city of this Muhammad bin Suleiman, the worst, I think, the devil, anti-Islam, anti-Muslim, and now heading the Saudi Arabia with the two most secret cities, both Mecca and Medina. We are currently changing the demographic composition of the Arabian Gulf 
and the Arabian Peninsula, and we have so far been able to introduce 15 million non Arab and Muslim workers, including 7 million in the UAE, constituting 70% of the total population of UAE. We will work over the coming decades to introduce 100 million workers to the Arabian Peninsula of different nationalities and religion. 50 million of them will enter Saudi Arabia. We will work to bring 5 million Jews into the Arabian Peninsula, settle them there, grant them nationality, permanent residency, and special privileges. Already the largest and the biggest church with hundreds and thousands of Idols or statues are there in UAE and with pride it's saying that. And now in Taif, you can see the MSB has put a woman's bust that the, all those statues which were removed in 1443 years ago by our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it, he has brought it back. So on the Christmas and New Year Eve, he has shown the world that how the bare-headed young Saudi women and men dancing together, embracing together, and holding their hands together. So soon there will be nudity, soon there will be bikinis, soon there will be liquor, soon there will be bars. This is just a beginning. and. I don't think that the trio is wrong in saying that they have already achieved so much. We will work to bring 5 million Jews. We will build for these Jews upscale neighborhoods and cities equipped with the latest security services so that all these implanted nationalities and planted people, especially the Jews, and the worst of the worst and scum of the society in pornography, in nudity, in prostitution, in gambling are rehabilitated there. We will build thousands of synagogues, schools and universities in them and they will be employed in the highest leadership positions until we control the military and civil institution and seize control of the country and judgment by controlling their courts. The trio goes on to say, after only 10 years, we will overthrow the ruling system in the Arab Gulf states and carry out a military coup against the ruling families there. After we are able to change the demographic composition by 80% for non-Arabs and Muslims and make the percentage of Arabs and Muslims in it less than 20 percent and after 20 years our objectives will be very close to have been achieved when we will control Yemen, Saudi Arabia and we rule the Arabian Peninsula. The greater state of Israel will be declared from the Gulf to the ocean within less than 30 years specifically in the year 2048 AD on the centenary of the founding of the state of Israel. Thus the dream of the Jews will be fulfilled and we will control the Arab world, control its wealth, islands, states and passages, build more than 100 military bases there. This report is authentic and is came come from a reliable intelligence source and was collected and contains from several lengthy presentations of the intelligence agencies. The reports received make easy to read and disseminate to all Muslims. So they should be careful and move quickly to stop this dangerous plan because we see today in Gaza is nothing but an actual implementation of this plan. And we call on every Muslim to spread it. And I join them as widely as possible, clearing once 
conscious before God Almighty. The matter is very dangerous and there is a major conspiracy and high treason. If the Muslim countries, especially Turkey, Pakistan, Malaysia, Indonesia, do not come up and join, they should throw their nukes into the ocean and go and lick their feet. Because if it's a time, the action which matters, and if you do not act now, soon you will be licking their shoes and you will be enslaved and all this agenda will be also implemented in Turkey, in Pakistan, in India, Indonesia, Malaysia and all the rest of the Islamic countries. With these words of caution, I take your leave and give this caution note to all head of Muslim states and especially I think it's a shame on Jordan, shame on Egypt, shame on Turkey and shame on Pakistan. And so is it for Malaysia and Indonesia. The, even up to now, they haven't sent one aircraft or one food truck or one ship to go and feed those starving Muslims of Gaza and thirsty, hungry, without medicine, injured, helpless, in the tents, out nowhere, being bombed day and night. And how are they going to answer when they go into the six feet long ditch, which is called grave, and how will they face the Almighty Allah? Only God knows. I wish that they will wake up now and timely they will send their troops and aircrafts and naval ships and to eliminate Israel once for all, their biggest enemy. And then the next one in line should be India. And they especially eradicate the extremist Indians for starting from Nindra Modi, Shah and the Ra, in, you know, agency, and also their extremist RR, you know, the S, which is the Hindu Rashtra. And this is what they have been trying to eliminate every Muslim, the names of the cities occupying Kashmir, killing their Kashmiri women, raping them, and now by force, including them into their union territories. So it's not just only there, although the leader is the Mossad, leader is the Israel, and you can already see the countries joining them who are anti-Islam. And if we don't wake up, soon we will be like a sitting duck as a target, and this bad or devil will prevail. With these words, I pray God that it never succeeds. I beg your leave.